the final video of 2019. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom. I am your host, Ivan Menendez, and today we're going to be talking about what I picked up on the Holiday Haul Part 2. At the end of every month, I like to do a haul, and it just so happens that, well, this is the last video of 2019. It's been a very interesting year. It started very promising, and midway I sort of made a realization that I technically didn't need to get so much stuff, so I've been trying to be more uh, considerate of my purchases, and of course everything in moderation, but holiday season, you know, every single website has good, awesome deals, so I had to take uh, a jump on some of these deals. Manga, anime, a crap ton of video games, uh, it's, it's insane, folks. So let's start with manga because I have been reading a few manga and I got some surprise packages as well. First I got Beastars Volume 3 firing on all cylinders. I love this series so much. Here we have My Hero Academia Volume 22 and finally I don't know why I was so late in picking this up but I had to jump on the uh, four or five bucks train on this, The Solving Classroom from Junji Ito. This is the only book I'm missing from my uh, collected editions Ito library. I do have uh, No Longer Human, if I remember correctly. Yes, No Longer Human. But uh, I made the error of adding that order with stuff that comes out next month in January. So it, it, it is delayed because they're going to group everything and ship it. So that was on me and I unfortunately cannot read it or add it to the library. But I do have uh, Dissolving Classroom right here to finish off quote unquote the Junji Ito collection. I have to give a massive shout out to a good friend of mine, Jonel. Thank you so much for gifting me this as a Christmas gift, I guess. Yeah, Christmas gift. Uh, he gave me a couple manga uh, from his collection. This is the first volume of No Game, No Life. In poly bags and everything. God bless him. And this extremely... Uh, how should I put this? Not safe for work. Violent, yet amazingly radical manga series. Magical Girl Apocalypse from Kentaro Sato. I will be doing this, a video on this pretty dang soon after this uh, haul, so look forward to that, because I, I, I really want to talk about this. Magical Girl Apocalypse uh, Volume 1. Here we have Volume 2, Volume 3 of the series, Volume 4, just radical designs. Here is Volume 5 and Volume 6, and I'm sorry for the plasticky noise. I know a lot of people get really upset about that stuff. Volume 7, which unfortunately is out of print, so you might want to uh, look in stores and stuff to hunt this one down, but the cover is a little bit risque. I don't know if I should have shown it in the uh, video, but whatever. Thank you so much uh, for those wonderful gifts, and I will be doing videos on those books, uh, No Game, No Life, and Magical Girl Apocalypse, really, really soon, because I want to talk about them on the channel. Next up, let's do anime, because I went a little overboard as well with anime. I was able to pick this up at Best Buy, which surprisingly was cheaper than most websites online. This is Millennium Actress, the Blu-ray edition. This just came out a couple weeks ago. One of my all-time favorite animated movies right here. This is a work of art, in my opinion. Satoshi Kon being one of my all-time favorite directors. I believe this was restored from a 4K transfer or something like that. I, I really don't know why we couldn't have gotten it in 4K. It, but regardless, here it is. The Blu-ray in all its glory. Hopefully, uh, I'm able to find Perfect Blue because that's out of stock everywhere. 
and uh, Tokyo Godfather's got announced. So all we are missing is a re-release of Paranoia Agent. I'm hopeful that it will happen, maybe in one delicious box set, because uh, we already had uh, Paprika in Blu-ray. So yeah, uh, just one more to go and we'll have the uh, Con library, if you will, in uh, high definition. Next up is Golden Kamui Season 2. Looking fantastic. I love the gold foil. It's a shame that it doesn't fit with um, with Season 1, which I have here to show you guys. Here's the Season 1 box set, which I got earlier in 2019. And I thought, hey, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fit in here, <laughs> Volume 2. It, no, it doesn't. Because there's the Blu-ray set and the massive art book. So... I, I wish they could have made it just a little bit wider so Volume 2 could fit in there, but nope. Here we have <laughs> Season 1 and Season 2. I found for, I think it was 20, 22, 23 bucks on eBay, uh, Gundam, uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans, Season 1 Part 1, and Season 1 Part 2. So that was, you know, I didn't get the complete set because Season 2 is still split up into two sets, so I... I, I didn't really mind having four in total, but yeah, uh, both sets for a total of $23, $24, I wasn't going to pass that up. My adventure into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure continues. This is set four, Diamond is Unbreakable, part one, and I got a rant. I was able to get it just a slightly discounted, which is always great if you can get anime for a little bit less. Uh, Really, they're charging you full price and you took out art cards. I don't mind not having the art cards, but you're still charging me for the same amount as the other sets. I don't know. I'm not too much of a fan of that, but you get the Blu-ray set and the, uh, what do they call this? The art book, uh, guidebook to the season. So yeah, here's set four. And this was part of the, uh, I think this was back in early December where I, when I got this. This is Sailor Moon R, basically season two of the original anime. Uh, I'm missing the second part, which uh, hopefully I'll get soon. Sailor Moon R, season two. And it's not focusing. There you go. <laughs> Comes with Blu-ray set. Oh man, this is all white and pinkish. There it is. <laughs> Uh, it's all in there with the art book with a lot of cool info and character sketches and art prints and stuff. Artwork on the series, I should say. This was part of the Sentai Blowout Christmas sale. I got the deluxe edition of Princess Principal, which has a ton of stuff. Three uh, art books, guidebooks, if you will. The series... Uh, all 12 episodes on two discs and in here you have a fabric poster and copper or metal uh, coasters which is awesome I love this and I think it was it was only like 20 24 bucks out of a hundred and something retail price I wasn't gonna pass that up so yeah Princess Principal the uh, limited edition box set fate stay night the movie heavens feel lost butterfly the second movie out of the trilogy We'll probably see movie three this time next year. Here we have Hosuki's Cool Headedness, season two and three in one set. Here we have Land of the Lustrous on Blu ray. And a classic, Those Who Hunt Elves on Blu ray, all 24 episodes. Fun fact the original DVD version of this was probably one of the first anime DVDs I ever bought. I think it was the first one. Comedy based and pretty hilarious and the animation's gorgeous for the time. Uh, yeah, it's it's a trip to finally own this on a better format. Man, I'm old. <laughs> Non-anime related, I did get Wonder Woman Bloodlines. This is set in the DC animated movie universe, which has a continuing story with titles such as uh, Justice League uh, War, uh, Son of Batman, uh, the Justice League Dark, uh, all, all those movies with uh, the same, you know, the same voice actors and stuff. So yeah, if if you 
look at this part right here. It says, continue your journey into the DC universe. That usually refers to it being part of that movie universe. So this is Wonder Woman's origin in that movie, animated movie universe, if that makes sense. So, yeah. No figures this month, although I did order two specific statues that... Uh, came straight from Japan so <laughs> they're they're still on the way as of this video I don't know what they'll arrive I guess next month we'll see it uh, I'm gonna show you video games because I went crazy with the video games and this is has to do with an announcement that I'm gonna make at the end of the haul which is coming up in a couple more minutes uh, for Xbox one you know I've never been an Xbox fan ever so I got the Xbox one s strictly for uh, the 4k player and I it was just sitting there in the living room and I'm like I, I'm not really getting the full enjoyment out of this because it's a video game console it's not supposed to be uh, your default blu-ray player so I upgraded and got a 4k blu-ray player one of those uh, the Sony ones, I can't remember the model. It, uh, it's a pretty good one. And, I, and I'm and i using the Xbox One S as intended as a gaming machine. So I picked up some games that I really wanted to play. Because it's an Xbox and you gotta go with the stuff that people uh, rave about. So I got this two-pack. It is Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which is the first game. Uh, remastered. I think that was released for the uh, 360. This is the remastered version. And the Rare Replay, which has 30 games from Rare's library, minus the uh, Nintendo exclusives like Donkey Kong, uh, 007, etc. Really fun stuff, and you can get this for dirt cheap. Again, I am not an Xbox fan, so this is the first time I'm playing Gears of War, and it's a, it's a blast. I love it. And the Rare games are surprisingly uh, fantastic on a modern console. Especially getting to play Banjo and Kazooie and the Battletoads, uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, all that stuff. Uh, it's slightly polished for the new age, if you will. It looks pretty interesting. I, I like it. Plus the design of the menus and stuff is really uh, cool to me. Uh, this was a holiday gift. I got Resident Evil 2 for Xbox One, and again, because I have way too many PS4 games and way too many Switch stuff, so I wanted to build up the Xbox library. I got Resident Evil 2, and then I realized, oh crap, I, I've never played the Resident Evil games. I've only played just a little bit of the original and one of the sequels, I can't remember. So this is the first time I'm playing this. And I went ahead and picked up the Resident Evil Origins Collection, which is Zero and the first game. So I do plan on, on playing and owning the complete series, and we're just in luck because Resident Evil 3 Remake got announced for, I think, April 2020. So I will be playing that and uh, making my way towards owning Resident Evil 3. Really excited about that. Speaking of more games, I mentioned Switch. I got a lot of Switch titles, stuff that was coming out this year, and other classics, if you will. I got Pokemon Shield. Do not care whatsoever about the controversy. I still love this game. It's a ton of fun. Uh, Splatoon 2? Fantastic. I've never played a Splatoon game, because when the original came out, I never owned a Wii U, because I thought, oh, the Wii U. You know, the <laughs> same as everybody else. I didn't care for it. So now I picked up Splatoon 2, I've been playing it, and it is honestly one of the funnest experiences I've had in a while playing a multiplayer shooting game or whatever. I love this game so much, it's fantastic. Everything about it, the aesthetic, the colors, the characters, it's a ton of fun. And speaking of fun, I got Super Mario Maker 2, and... Uh, I didn't know I was going to love it as much as I am. I love playing all the courses and even the, the story mode I love and playing all the online stuff. It's a blast. I, I, I love playing classic Mario games and this just brings me back. Because you get Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario's U, and 3D World. If you can actually read that because the camera is behaving terribly today. So. 
really excited about that. This was a Christmas gift. I got Nino Kuni for the Switch. I've never played Nino Kuni. Again, the reason I haven't played a lot of these titles is because I sort of just walked away from video games uh, for a long time. It wasn't uh, until a couple years ago when I came back, and even then I didn't pick up every single thing. So now I'm trying to play as much as possible to, you know, get all these classics in. So here we have uh, Nino Kuni for the Switch. This was another gift. River City Girls. I love the original uh, uh, River, uh, the Ransom and River City games and all that stuff. Really enjoying uh, River City Girls. I wish instead of a game, I wish this was either a manga or an anime because obviously they modeled it after that aesthetic. But man, when you play it, it I, I want to see this in animated form. Because this is River City meets Kill a Kill. It's got that vibe going for it. And I got the twin pack of Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. My journey with Final Fantasy is a different one. Uh, the only Final Fantasy games I've ever played are a little bit of X and X2, 9, and 12. That's it. I was I, I never got into the Final Fantasy franchise, but now that they're remaking uh, seventh, the seventh game, I went ahead and picked this up. You can't, I, if I remember correctly, you can't get this at regular stores. You have to look for it online. The uh, twin pack with both uh, games in one cartridge, because you can't download them on the eShop. But I don't like downloading digital games. Uh, that's not for me. Uh, I, I'd rather have them physical. So. Here it is, the twin pack. That, my friends, was, was quite a haul of multimedia. Holy crap. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to mention something briefly. This is the final video of 2019. It's been a very interesting year. I, I am forever grateful for the opportunity that I get to use this platform to entertain and inform and just uh, have fun with you guys. I'd love the feedback and response from the crowd. Uh, I, I love it so much, but I want this channel to grow exponentially. I'm not interested in, in being famous. I'm not interested in the money aspect. None of that. Those are secondary things. The reason I want to keep this channel alive and keep being a YouTuber or whatever is that I get to spread a little joy and happiness and entertain people. And that can't happen if we don't get more uh, subscribers. So I'm really going to work at it in 2020 to double the amount. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not saying I want <laughs> 100,000 subscribers. That's not my goal. But if we can spread the message of positiveness and just geek culture as a whole in a fun interesting way i'll consider that a win and if i can entertain you for a couple minutes of your day double win in my book so next year there are going to be some pretty drastic changes to the channel um, fortunately because of real life circumstances i i've stepped away from uh, many like uh, this epic omnibus or absolutes or collected editions i'm only getting what i really need at that moment because books you know you can always get them digitally i'm, I'm not too uh worried about that but i don't feel the necessity to play the game of being hyped about this release and then next week is that other release and you fall into this uh, FOMO mentality that you have to keep buying stuff and you end up basically doing a weekly or monthly subscription to books that you're not going to read. At least with the manga, I'm only getting the titles that I am reading, stuff like uh, Dr. Stone, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, the Berserk stuff, uh, Beastars, and with comics, I think for the most part, I'm just going to be interested in getting uh, completed runs of stuff I know I will like. For example, the Swamp Thing, the Absolute Swamp Thing, I do want that, I'm just not <laughs> that in a hurry to get it. You know, and same with the Omnis. Plus, I don't really have the space. I'm kind of limited right now. So I'm not going to... 
uh, I mean, if, if people out there can do it, bless them, and that's awesome, and I envy you guys, but I don't want to fall into that trap of, uh, set, of setting myself up for that trap of being like, I need this book now, and I need it next month, and I need the other one two weeks from now, because I want to do other things, and I want to create a multi-layered channel here on YouTube where we talk about uh, anime, which is a burning passion of mine, where I talk about manga, where I talk about video games. I've always wanted to do video game content. I just don't have the uh, internet for that, but I do want to review stuff, even though it's retro or not up to date. I do want to geek out and talk about older stuff. I have been, uh, this year I've been dipping my toes into retro gaming, uh, emulations and arcades and all that stuff so I have a lot to say about older titles and just geek out about that stuff of course new movies and TV shows and all that stuff so for that reason the channel is going to change it's no longer going to be just about uh, collected editions and reviewing a book and all that stuff unfortunately I cannot uh, I can't fully dedicate 24 7 to the channel so I can't be pumping out videos every single day. It's not, uh, I mean, I could do it, but I would be insane <laughs> trying. So instead, I am going to be keeping the format of at least one video per week. Sometimes I might do two or three if the schedule allows it, but just know that I do want to keep building that cha this channel. You don't have to do anything. I'm not asking for any single thing from anybody. This is just me telling you. So if you don't no longer see uh, halls like they used to, because this was pretty massive, but this was accumulated from early November. So uh, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so you know, if you don't see uh, many books in the future or Blu-rays or figures, all that stuff, you have some sort of idea as to why. So, with that said, I wish you all the very best in the upcoming year, 2020. I hope all of your aspirations and dreams, you, you work towards them and you make them happen. I'm going to be doing the same. I wish you nothing but the very best and, and God's blessings to everyone out there. I wish you all the love in the upcoming year and all your goals. Go work for them because... You know, you got to do it, right? Nobody's going to do it for you. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to leave with that positive attitude and note. Uh, hopefully you can follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on the first video of 2020. So long, everybody.